Tourist Tracker Nation, Martin Chuck here, and I want to go over some critical setup variations that maybe aren't so obvious, but this little refresher is going to help you. You know, you're going to be watching some great summer tournament golf on the PGA Tour, and I've got a, my sandwich here, and notice how basically my sternum, my belt buckle, my center line is right on top of the golf ball. I am on top of the ball, you know, I hit my sand wedge about 105 yards. Let me go hit one out there. So very centered. Stance isn't very narrow. Let's hit one. Nice little strike. Felt good. Probably went, you know, estimate around that, that yardage. Now as I graduate into the set a little farther, let's take notice of this. So here's my six iron. So if I put the sand wedge in here, Okay, and then I said, all right, what am I going to do with my six iron? Just notice how everything creeps a little wider, and then obviously longer golf club, I'm going to get fractionally farther away from the golf ball. Now, as my stance starts getting wider, notice how my chest starts getting more and more behind the golf ball. I'm getting more and more behind the golf ball. That's super important when we go to the next club. Let me hit a, let me hit a six iron. So, I'm on top of the ball still, but not to the level of the sand wedge. So I aim the face, take a look, a little wider stance. I'm a bit more behind it, not much, just a bit. Helps me hit a little higher. I don't need much help hitting a sand wedge high. In fact, good players can hit their lofted clubs low and their stronger lofts high because of this little tip I'm giving you. Let's hit a little shot. Reasonable strike, actually a hair thin, but functional. Now let's talk about the driver setup. So the driver, the widest stance. Not crazy wide, just, just the widest. Now, when you think about the sand wedge, you know, his narrow stance right on top of it. Now watch how this morphs into the balls the most forward within my stance, which puts me, my center line, back here now. The sand wedge is on top of it, six iron driver, I'm more behind it. Everything's more behind it. So my attack angle for the driver can be more sweepy, even even a bit upward, just because of the setup differences. So really important to understand that the sand wedge, I'm on top of it, the six iron, the driver, and then we gotta be careful when we do this not to open our body or get our hips and our shoulders too, too out of alignment relative to where we wanna start the golf ball. Let's go ahead and aim that face, set those feet. I'm just naturally more behind it, so I can hit it on the level or fractionally upward. Let's go ahead and hit one. And that was a nice, nice little baby fade, hit pretty hard down the middle. So Tourist Tracker Nation, understanding those setup variations will help you flight shots the correct way. On top of it for the wedges, slightly farther back for the mid irons, and then finally for the longer clubs, the wider stance position you a bit more behind the ball for a bit more, bit shallower strike, a little bit better launch. Thanks for watching.